Welcome back to another video for KISS Electrical. Today, we will be installing a 60 amp residential pull-out disconnect for a condensing unit at a house. And I took it apart right here at the beginning, try to eliminate some of the, the parts so we can get a better view. I'm using a new camera today. Uh, actually, it's a GoPro, so I tried to use a GoPro to see if um, the video quality and um, the viewing, if it was good enough, because sometimes it's hard uh, when we're doing jobs to have somebody come video me while I'm working, because uh, they need to be doing some work too. But um, here on this disc, I'm trying to take this cover off, and it's it doesn't have any screws or anything in it, so... Just kind of pry it open a little bit with your flathead, and then you can kind of get the uh, the lid off of it because uh, it's got a metal indention in it. So if you can just kind of pry it just a little bit, it should pop right off. Um, anyway, um, I hold it up there to make sure it's in between those slats in that exterior wall. Make sure it's going to work out where the wire needs to come in at in the back of this box. So I uh, go ahead and begin knocking out the concentric knockouts on the back. I want to make sure that the knockout size is appropriate. So I take my uh, plastic three-quarter Romex connector and make sure that the hole that I knock out of this box is uh, the same size as that Romex connector. So I don't want a bigger hole than it actually needs because then you'll have to do something else to make it work or some people just don't do anything at all just leave it a big old hole and just let the wire come in there but i like trying to do things right protect the conductors from going in that metal box from vibrations or anything like that and keeping it uh, to where the conductors are safe and and uh, secure and um, there won't won't any metal cut into those conductors so anyway, I'm trying to push this wire into um, this plastic. Um, it's like a bushing, you know, and um, I call it a Romex connector, a box connector, but it's giving me some fits. So I have a little bit of a hard time trying to shove it in there. Uh, the wire size here is, I want to say it's number six on here. Anyway, I finally get it in there and uh, go ahead and suck it all the way up to the wall. And from this point, now the wire is going to hold the box while I get my level out and my uh, 5 sixteenths uh, head for the screws that we're going to use to put in um, the disconnect. So... Just have to bear with me as I look through my canvas bag where I keep a lot of my bits and stuff like that in there for so you can find them easy. That's why I bought this so I can find everything easy because you used to go into my tool bag and I couldn't ever find anything. So now I got this bag where it still takes me a little bit of time to find what I need, um, but I find it, attach it to my drill, get my screws out of my pocket. Get my level out of my tool bag. Now these levels, sometimes you need to make sure that they're, like mine's magnetized. And if you have debris or metal shard or something that's on your magnet, um, it will cause you to get a false reading. Um, so make sure that the level is clear. Um, get your box level and then go ahead and drill into the... Um, the wall to secure the, the box to the wall. Now, let me tell you. Now, each outer of, let's see, the wall, the out exterior wall of each dwelling is different. So, in this case here, I put um, just regular um, 5 sixteenths by 1 inch. Uh, and the, the thread is 10. Uh, put those in the uh, disconnect got it level and it's secure. Um, you might be able to see when I pull on the disconnect that uh, it was in fact secure. I just wanna make sure that if you bumped it or something, it's not gonna fall off the wall. But uh, 
anyway, I'm getting the, the sheathing off of these conductors. And then I'm going to go ahead and start terminating to make sure that the uh, terminations are landed correctly. <clears throat> Inside this disconnect, it will tell you where to put these. Now, these are, um, it's a 240 system. The first thing I do is I land my ground on the ground, little miniature ground bar that's in this disconnect. I'll put my ground there. This is These wires are coming from the panel. So this is the home run side. This is the line side. And um, I didn't open the screw big and opened up and wide enough. So anyway, I'll open it up a little bit more, get the ground in there, snug it down, make sure it's tight, make sure it's straight, make it look somewhat professional. And then I get the uh, first conductor, it's a, the black wire. And where I just pointed to was the line that is coming from your panel. And then once the condenser gets set by the HVAC company, they will come in and tap onto the other uh, screws that are just beside the ones that I'm doing, one for each side. So I'm opening it up so I can land it, terminate it, tighten it up. Make sure it's nice and snug, straight. Do the same thing with this one. I know the wire is white. It's not a neutral. It's not a grounded conductor. This has been landed on a breaker. It needs to have some identifying tape on it to identify for the next user to uh, that it is a hot and, in fact, not a grounded conductor. So I'll have to go back and uh, put... Uh, some red tape on there so the person behind me or the person that follows me will know that is in fact a hot um, I put this lid on there and where the, the camera is uh, kind of gives you a bad point of view um, like I said I'm trying some different camera angles and uh, trying to um, get it to where you guys can see exactly what I'm doing um, anyway, I, uh, the disconnect, it's just a pull out 